Hello everyone. Welcome to MAT012 Foundational Algebra. My name is Tedius Krupa and I will be your instructor this semester. Here's my some of my contact information. Obviously you found the orientation video. So it says to click on start here on the left. Before doing so, I just want to mention that typically you will see announcements posted in this area. If if you do not, you can click on more announcements and there's the first announcement for our course telling you how to get started and what assignments are due. And if we go back on the right hand side of the course homepage here, you see MCCC resources and policies. So there's a wealth of information here if you need to access anything, just click on a particular link. So clicking on start here on the left side, um, here's another welcome message and the orientation video in case you missed it. And what I'd like you to do next is introduce yourself by clicking on icebreaker, introduce yourself on the left side, and then read through documents labeled A through E. So if we click on the icebreaker, tells you how to make a post and you can read what I'd like you to how, how do I introduce yourself I uh, have a post that you could read about me very short and if we start reading through the letter documents course materials the most important part of the course is obtaining access to my math lab. That is where all of our academic material is housed. Um, if you click here, you'll be able to register. And we are using Barnes & Noble First Day, where, as mentioned here, you will automatically be billed on your college account when you register. And it's the least expensive way to access the materials. So do not opt out um, unless you want to find an alternative method. But again, this is the least expensive way to register for my math lab. You're going to need a scientific calculator. Anyone will do, but I recommend the TI-30X2S. And you probably want to print these notes out, but that can wait until unit number one. Until we start unit number one, there is unit number zero, which is kind of a preliminary unit. And these notebook lessons do not apply to unit zero. They only apply to unit number one, two, and three. <clears throat> So make sure you click here to register for my math lab and go through the registration process under menu item B is the course syllabus. You should read through this it contains all the contact information, student learning outcomes, most importantly, the grading policy and notes about the final exam as well as other things. Also under menu item B is our schedule for the semester. I suggest you print this. This tells you everything that is due and when it is due. Then if we click on item menu item C this is where you will go to do all of your coursework. So once you have registered under menu item A, you will no longer need to go to menu item A. You just simply go to menu item C to do your coursework and click on My Math Lab All Assignments. And once you're registered, this is what you will see. And it is linking us to the course and you see the entire um, list of assignments for the course. Now if I go back, a couple other things, how to enter in answers in my math lab and some other things to consider, you can read through those. 
Um, my Math Life grade book is where you can check your grades and review old assignments that you've completed. If we go to the course outline, you can read through that. That tells you what we will be learning. Here's a part of the course that is a little discussion. I'd like you to read through this and post an article as explained here. And so that is worth 10% of your final grade. And here's something very important. Unit checklist videos and more. Now, all of your coursework is done through menu item C, where you have the videos created by the publisher and the homework, as well as quizzes and tests that are due. So all of your work is done under menu item C, but menu item F, my colleague and I created to assist you with this course. And if you click on a particular unit, there's a checklist as well as videos. And if you click on a particular lesson, such as lesson A, um, there's videos that we created associated with this course. So please take advantage of this. I'll be mentioning it in all of the announcements. So a good resource is menu item F. But again, all of your coursework is done in menu item C. The rest of the buttons are fairly obvious, and I'll keep this short. You can send to Wolf's email. Here's my contact information. I will have Zoom office hours, so if I click on that, here is a link to join my office hours. So during these times that I've listed, um, I'll be sitting in front of my computer and waiting to talk to somebody. If you have questions, concerns during these times, just Click on this link and I will um, be available on Zoom. But I will be available by appointment as well. So if these days and times are not good for you, just email me and we'll set up an appointment and we can meet on Zoom um, at virtually any time that I'm available. There's an ask a question area that's kind of for general questions. Anything specific? related to my math lab and coursework ask them through my math lab by clicking on as it mentions here i'll ask my instructor within the question under the question help button but if you have a general question you can ask it here there's online tutoring available through our academic center for excellence so there's a link here to the tutoring services and then you have my math lab help if you have technical issues with my math lab give them a call up the same idea with blackboard if you have issues with blackboard you can click this link and contact blackboard there's other course resources a virtual success center and other learning modules. So I want to keep this short, so I'll stop right there. But let me reemphasize, main thing to do immediately, get registered for my math lab by clicking on course materials, menu item A, and click here to register. Then you can begin the coursework after you do all the other little things when you begin your coursework, you will always go to menu item C. So menu item C is where you will do all of your coursework after you register once. You don't need to visit A again. Just go to menu item C, click on my math lab on assignments, and as we have seen, you'll see a list of all the assignments too. And then once again, menu item F. My colleague and I spent a lot of effort creating the videos and organizing this little unique website that is tailored specifically for this course and the questions that you're going to see 
as you work through the homework and quizzes. So I wish you a great semester, and please, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to email me or even contact me on my cell phone. And there's the number right there on the banner at the top of our page. So I wish you the best of luck, and we'll look forward to a great semester.